up? Welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Steph, and today I have a little Stuart Weitzman haul. Um, and this isn't what you think it is. This is not like, I spent $1,000 on shoes. Um, I will explain everything, but if you notice, I'm filming in a little bit of a different location. I normally film like at the front of my condo. Um, but it's so sunny today that I'm like, I need to sit a little bit further back. So here we are, we out here. Um, but yeah, anyways, um, <laughs> random note aside if you're noticing. So I got the um, Stuart Weitzman Gotham Zip Booties. I'm currently filming this like literally on the way out the door pretty much. And I, cause I, I wanna show you them like not creased. And I want to get the haul out first, like film the haul, and then I wanted to like an FYI before you buy on these booties because they're still, they're on sale right now. They are 63% off, which is why I got them. So I got them in a size eight and I got them in the leather finish. Now, if you have been watching my I Hate My Wardrobe series, I, at the very beginning of that, I said that there are I need to really identify my wardrobe ics. There's a lot of things in my wardrobe that I'm not wearing, like I don't like, all of this sort of stuff. And one of the things that I have identified is flat, like completely flat boots. Like I have a pair of really beautiful flat fry Chelsea boots that I frankly just don't reach for. Cause when I wear them, I feel so frumpy. I feel like a little like page boy. Like it's not, it's not giving what it needs to give and it just makes me feel like I don't feel like put together in them it doesn't matter what I'm wearing like I can't wear them with jeans because I feel like they look really masculine on me I can't wear them with tights because they're so flat that they're just like there's no like there's no lines created with it and so I end up just wearing either sneakers or like a higher heel boot enter these now these are like they have a heel they are elevated this is like a two inch heel maybe um thick sole it's a rubber sole because it is a winter boot um and leather they're a little bit of a higher shaft but they kind of down the side keep a very classic chelsea boot shape um but they don't have the stretchy -ness here and they do have zip ups on the inside so they're going to be quite easy to get on and off so that's a couple things that i've identified i don't like i have a pair of blundstones and again even my blundstones have like a little bit of a heel like you know enough of a heel that i'm like it's okay but one i don't like the that like you with the stretchy fabric to accommodate for people's ankles i don't really like it for like more formal dressy situations i feel like it like lowers the put togetherness of my outfit because it's like instead of having boots that are like the circum like the shaft circumference is going to fit you've bought something like adjustable and there's no issue with that i just like personally don't like i don't like that look you know i like it to look like really clean and like i want everything to seem like fit like that it fit like it fits with like no accommodation if that makes sense so anyways I'm hoping that these are the solution. I tried them on with the outfit that I'm currently wearing and I do really, really like them. So I think that these might be it, but okay. Um, one of the biggest motivations for these boots was the fact that they were 63% off. So they wore 775 originally Canadian, $775 Canadian. They're currently on sale for $298 Canadian which is pretty incredible because $298 for a pair of like boots like this is effectively like Sam Edelman Vince Camuto pricing and those are like premium high street and this is very much like luxury and I don't know about you guys but I feel like if I'm going to pay almost $300 Canadian for a pair of boots and I have the choice between like a full price pair of premium high street or I have a choice of like actual like luxury boots that 
I know I'm going to really, really, really like because I always, I've, I've loved all of my Sam, sorry, I've loved all of my Stuart Weissman shoes I bought. I think I'm going to end up going almost always for the Stuart Weitzman's and that might, that might just be like me like biased onto a brand name but I personally feel like Stuart Weitzman boots are really well crafted and are really well made and really last the test of time especially considering the fact that their boots for the most part always come with a rubberized sole you don't have to add anything they're not like a leather bottom like fries like i spend i've spent a lot of money on fry boots but i always have to get the soles like rubberized add a new sole to it because the leather wood sole bottom that they use just like does not work walking outside pretty much anywhere but it also like will not last in the winter so i think that that's just like little things um i buy my shoes i i used to buy a seven and a half but i think my feet have either grown or something but i'm now size eight um so that's what i picked these up in they are really good i feel like they fit perfectly there's just enough room right now for like the throughout the day my feet to swell I think that's really important to take into consideration when you're shoe sizing. When the people measure you in store and stuff, they're like, if you're gonna go do that, I know it sounds foul, but like make sure that you've like walked around for a little bit first because you want your feet to be swollen because you don't wanna buy shoes at your like, you know, fresh out of bed, like you've been sitting like lying prone, like anything. Um, size because as you walk around throughout the day, your feet are going to swell. Which is why if you see like the royals and on the red carpets and stuff, people wear shoes that are a little bit bigger. It's because throughout the night with like food, drinking, like even like water retention and stuff, your feet are going to swell. And you need the room in your shoes to accommodate for that because honestly, the likelihood that you're wearing shoes like out and about, like walking around, like even just sitting and like all the blood draining into your feet, like that sort of stuff, like that causes your feet to swell. And you spend more time with your feet like swollen than you do not swollen per se, right? Like not like swollen swollen, but like, you know, it, it just makes more sense in my opinion to have like, to have a little bit more like room. Okay. So these are still on sale. Okay. Sorry. They're 62% off. Um, and let me go through the product use. Okay, so the heel height is 2.6 inches, which is 65 millimeters. The shaft height is 7.5 inches, 19 centimeters. And the shaft circumference is 4.7 inches and 12 centimeters. And that's the shaft circumference, like, I believe that's at the widest part of the boot, um, where they consider this shaft circumference, like, here somewhere. So the features are that it is booty, ankle, block, heel, round, toe, side zipper, subtle platform. And the real thing is it's leather, leather insole and a rubber outsole. So this whole section of the shoe and the inside insole of the shoe is rubber, is leather, sorry. And then obviously this is rubber. Now you cannot get away from rubber if you live in Canada, if you live in North America, like the US. Um, and Canada, I know like Mexico is part of North America and like you definitely can get away with it a rubber sole, but I have like, I have a real gripe against plastics, but there's not really an alternative for rubber soles yet that are going to withstand winter as well. So it's like a necessary evil, but I have this whole thing about natural fibers where I would much rather have something that is a natural fiber that I know is going to decompose, it's gonna turn into dirt, it's going to be compostable, it's going to eventually go back from whence it came, like, you know, then a microplastic that is going to linger, so like a plastic fiber, vinyl and all that. And that's not saying that I don't have like plastics in my closet. Sometimes it is just unavoidable, right? Like a rubber sole, unavoidable. Um, and like I did go through like a vegan leather phase for a little bit, like obviously that stuff. And like, 
again, like I'm not saying this to shame people who are like wanting to get vegan alternatives. And I'm not saying it because also like, I know that vegan alternatives tend to be a lot more price, like effective, price conscious, like they're not as expensive as the real deal. Um, but I want you guys to be aware that like, just because somebody's claiming something is vegan and eco-friendly, on one side of it like yes it's eco-friendly because it reduces the animal cost but it's not actually eco-friendly because the material is somehow better for the environment so i think that there's a lot of greenwashing that's going on in like especially the vegan leather industry um i know that some t their companies have like carrot leather and stuff i think that's better but if somebody's just like straight up like a vegan leather that's like a like a vinyl or like a plastic thing like just keep that in mind anyways so overall so far i like these boots a lot and they do come in a lovely box i'll go more in depth into everything but always like stuart weitzman even like these boxes are like sturdy boxes they're quite luxe so i don't know i just think overall like the experience purchasing from stuart weitzman is always a 10 out of 10 for me and i could do miss them having stores because it made like exchanges and returns easier but i'm sure they are going to i don't know either i've never had to return anything online but i'm sure that the online process because they now don't have stores is going to be better we'll see anyways i'm gonna get going and i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching if you want to see the fyi before you buy of these that'll come in a couple weeks don't forget to subscribe and give this a thumbs up and i'll see you in the next video